So we're going to look at how our preferences influence our behavior in teams. First, we need to start off by looking at our individual behavior. Uh, many of you may have done the Myers-Briggs profile in the past, and that's really great in helping us understand our preferences, but then those preferences do drive our behaviors. Let's look at uh, another similar model called the DISC profile, and I'll explain more as we go along. DISC actually goes in, in two dimensions. Um, more active or fast-paced style as well as the more thoughtful or, or, or moderately paced uh, person. Then there's some people that are more questioning or task-oriented, those that are more people-oriented, more accepting. And if we were in a classroom, I'd actually divide you up into those four groups. Those that are more active and task-oriented would go to one side, and they're what we call dominant. The ones that are in the more active and accepting uh, phase would be those that are influential. The next one is the steadfast, steadfast person, those that are more accepting, people-oriented, and more thoughtful. And then the last would be the compliance or the uh, Cs, which are more questioning or task-oriented and much more moderately paced. Those that are the high Ds, the dominant ones, are actually really driven by accomplishing their own agenda. And sometimes that's great from a leadership standpoint, but sometimes it can be overwhelming for people that have different styles. The influencers are those that are kind of the natural salespeople. They have an agenda as well, but they're trying to blend their own agenda with that of the team and bringing other people along. Those that are more steadfast, they're much more oriented towards the team outcome or the team agenda, much more than their own individual agenda. And lastly, those that are compliant like to put process in place. In fact, there's not just a way to do things, but there's a right way. And so whenever we, any of us get caught in our own natural uh, proclivity, we, we could actually have some repercussions when dealing with people that have different styles. What I really want you to do is take away, first of all, what your own style is. What is it behaviorally that we can point to? One of the things that's really great about this uh, profile is that it's action-oriented. Other people can see. If we were doing Myers-Briggs, you know, it's again about your preferences, how your brain's wired. Sometimes we might have to guess about how that uh, actually comes through. But if you remember the, the four styles here, First of all, understand what your own style is. And then secondly, start to understand what the styles of other people are. There's uh, uh, you know, the golden rule many people have heard in the past, and it's really the uh, you know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It makes a huge assumptions. It assumes that other people want to be done unto the way you want to be done unto. There's actually the platinum rule, which is, I think, more useful in, in team context, which is to do unto others the way they'd like to be done unto. So if we're able to flex our style in the direction of someone else that may not be our natural style, it'll cause us a little bit of stress, a little bit of pressure to make that move. But then once we do that, they're going to be more apt to move in our direction as well so that the team dynamics will actually work a lot better that way. In fact, if you think about it, we're all motivated by our own style of behavior. You know, we're looking at how to solve or, or soothe our internal needs. When we look at other people, we're trying to influence others with a style that would be influential to us. Again, that golden rule. We got to be careful about that. We also need to be careful about how we judge other people. Typically, we're going to do that also towards our behavioral preferences. What we need to do is look at that whole picture and see how everyone fits in and how we can use each of our strengths and our styles to our own uh, benefit of the team.